decades of advancements in antiviral medications for the treatment of HIV, patients can still develop problems with memory and thinking over time. In today's HealthCast, Local 10 Medical Specialist Christy Kruger looks at how South Florida researchers are trying a novel approach to help these patients. When Tony Duncan decided to go back to college at 54, he had one concern, how to retain information. Tony has struggled with short-term memory loss since being diagnosed with HIV more than 20 years ago. When I was posed with the option to uh, join this study, it just sounded like a great thing for me because I know that could possibly help me get through the schooling that I'm trying to do right now. The study underway at Nova Southeastern University is looking into ways to reduce HIV-related memory loss. Even though people now live longer and HIV is really a manageable disease, people still develop cognitive problems, uh, mental slowing, problems in memory and attention that affect their ability to take care of themselves. At NSU's Center for Collaborative Research, study participants play a car racing game while receiving transcranial direct current stimulation, or TDCS. Which is using a very small current applied to the scalp that seems to facilitate learning and memory. TDCS has been studied in normal functioning adults as well as the elderly. It seems to facilitate uh, what's called neuroplasticity. It's kind of like the nerve cells in the brain make connections a little bit better with this very small current. The single blind study means neither the patient nor the nurse practitioner doing the assessment know if a full dose of current was delivered, but Tony is optimistic. If I sit down and really pay attention and try to focus as if I did when in some of the trial parts of the study, and I take that into my lessons, uh, it seems that I do a lot better. Now, results from this first small group of study participants shows that those who got the active treatment did have fewer memory problems and even said their overall mood was better. More people will be studied before drawing any final conclusions, but it certainly does look like doctors are on the right track with this one. With your health news, I'm Christy Krueger.